Hello folks. So I know it's been a really really long time since I made some videos but here I am again. I'm still living, I'm happy and everything's fine and I have a huge list with topics to talk about. So let's start right away. Body changes. Right now I'm like nine months on tea and I have many more hairs on my legs. I have more facial hair than ever before. I'm still losing many hairs on my head. Maybe they will fall onto my back. I don't know. I have some acne on my back as well, but my face is, well, as you can see, it's kind of clear. So I'm really happy with that. Uh, my upper body is still getting wider and wider and I don't fit in my slim uh, fit shirts anymore. Uh, it's just I, I feel more like a Hulk and it's um, It's all really too narrow for me now. I Think what you can really hear is that my voice is deeper. I had no more growth down under That's kind of a pity, but I can't change this my arms uh, especially my forearms are getting stronger or, or bigger so I, I had to cut off some bracelets because it was just it was just not fitting anymore and um, I think when I will go to hospital in, in summer for the surgeries when I will take off all of my rings that I can't put them on again if I don't wear them for a few days I don't think so <laughs> mental changes well sometimes I'm kind of moody I mean like moodier than before and I feel kind of sad and depressive and it's hard to work against this uh, so I'm really struggling with that and I hope it will get better so I'm hearing this from many FTMs that they have some problems with uh, phases of depression and things like that so I don't give too much on this I, I think it would just get better over the time it's still hard to concentrate or to focus on anything for me. I still have a high energy level and I always want to do something with my hands. Actually, my, my tea level is not the best as we found out. So I'm going down to 10 weeks now from 12 to 10 weeks. Uh, also because my period came back a few months ago. Some life changes. Well, as you can see, from my background, I moved again and this time I moved back to a city where I once lived in and this was a really big decision for me because now I have to drive to work really far every day in the morning, in the evening, but I really needed this. I, I was so not happy in my house all alone there now I have a roommate and everything's fine I'm totally happy here but this whole process took like I think six months um, for me to figure out what's what's best and yeah so now I'm here welcome to my new home as I already mentioned I will go to hospital in summer and I also changed my surgeon uh, because I was in contact with one other trans man who was with the surgeon I wanted to go to and I saw his results sometime after the surgery and he is not happy and what I saw well it made me kind of freaking out and now it's totally clear that I will get like the anchor cuts like the ones I didn't want to have but now I will get them and in the same procedure there will be a total hysterectomy with the removal of the uterus and the ovaries. So that's kind of big what's going to happen in a few weeks. Yeah, it's just in a few weeks. Yeah, because of my high energy level I'm, I'm thinking about getting maybe another job. Maybe something where I can move much more and not always sitting in front of the PC because I just can't handle this anymore. So I, I, I need to do stuff. I, I need to move. I need to empower more during the day. So that's something I'm thinking about. But step by step, first the surgeries, then healing process and after that I will take a look on this again. My private life. If any one of you is interested in my private life, 
I have many hookups and one night stands. Some are good, some are bad. Um, I'm still trying to navigate as a trans guy in the gay community without having a penis. And I don't know, I, sometimes I think it's kind of hard here in Germany because they are all just like focusing on this one body thing. Like if you don't have a penis, you have like no chance. And this is kind of frustrating. And this is also putting some some pressure on, on me for my body. It's like, okay, I, I am okay with the way I look and how I feel and how it feels to touch me. And um, everything I get from other guys is just like, no, you're not okay as you are. So this is, um, well, it's... It's kind of it's kind of in my head that things starting to change. Okay, am I really okay the way I am or uh, I know I am. I know I am okay, but it's it's just what other people uh what other people say. But uh I have a book recommendation for you. So in, in terms of of private life and how to how to have sex as a trans guy and um, how to be gay as a trans guy. I found this wonderful book. It's called Trans Homo Gasp. And you can order it on Amazon. Um, it's about 20 euros, I think. So I will put a link in the description below. Uh, maybe also from, from Amazon in, in the USA or something like this. I can really, really, really recommend this book. It's uh, full of essays from gay FTM and cis men on sex and love and this is so wonderful in reading so heartwarming so so pure so authentic so true in in every single essay that's written down so yeah if you're good in English then read this book I really recommend it okay so this is so far my nine month being on T update, life update, whatever update. I hope you enjoyed this one and see you soon. Bye!